In every professional post-production studio, you'll notice that there are little lights behind the displays and monitors, which sparks a question, why are they there and do you need them? To answer that, let's talk about our next subject in color theory, and that is color relativity. Take a look at this very simple image. Now, at brief glance, it would appear to be two gradients, right? The image in the background and then a, a rectangle in the center. But that's actually not the case. The center shape is not a gradient, but rather a continuous shade of middle gray. Now, if you continue looking at it for a while, you can often force yourself to see the middle gray, but it's very difficult. Or how about this image? Do you see these two inner smaller violets? They are factually the same color, even though they appear to be completely different shades. Let's drop the other colors just to prove it. Do you see? Out of context, you can plainly see reality, but add the surroundings back and we get wildly thrown off. Let's tie this back into filmmaking. If we are viewing our film in the context of changing backgrounds, our eyes will deceive us into seeing the film in inaccurate ways. Just think, if you're editing next to a window with a bunch of natural light, well, in the morning you might have bright sunlight streaming through, but later on in the evening, if you're to do a preview with all the lights off, the pixels on the screen won't change, but you will have a significantly different experience. Now, one solution is to just block out the natural light, but if we do this, then we're working in complete darkness. And when our screen is encompassed in complete black, we will perceive our images too brightly. This is where the bias light comes in. By placing a light source behind the screen, we will now experience the visuals of the film in a predictable way with a background that gives us a neutral experience. It's worth mentioning that the white balance of the light matters. Mastering displays are calibrated to the D65 or 6500 Kelvin white point. This is how films are mastered. For those of us working in post-production, this is something you need if you are doing critical visual work. And hey, if you're just looking to upgrade your at-home movie watching experience, this can be a great addition as well. Do you plan on using bias lighting in the future? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, hitting the like button helps it reach more people. And this wouldn't be a YouTube video if I didn't remind you that hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell means you won't miss future videos like this. All right, catch you later.